hey guys it's your girl georgia and welcome back to another video thank you for watching my channel if this is your first time a special welcome to you so today this video will be featuring my spring break vacation to turkey i had a time a time was had so i'm gonna be taking you through the journey through how turkey was and again i said this was my first day so in order to prepare for my vacation i got my hair done i got my nails done yeah and i was off to turkey so this is me checking in at the airport and my flight was via etihad airways yes so it was etihad airways to istanbul so here I was sitting at my gate to wait on my flight. It was really good. Yes, the service on Etihad was awesome. Yes, so I checked in and then I walked around for a while, got some food to eat. The flight was a five hour flight from Abu Dhabi Airport. Yes, so check. Uh, check-in time um, the process was smooth also and yeah that's me aboard about <laughs> to walk down my most favorite aisle mm -hmm. yes thank you this is the thank only you. aisle I get to walk down so far so yeah showing my boarding pass and about to walk down so I'm walking yeah. down my favorite aisle. And you can see me there saying walking <laughs> down my favorite aisle. This and my, my shirt says aisle. vacation vibe. Yes. <laughs> so come along. Come along with me. Walking down my favorite aisle. So guess what guys? I'm going to be telling you my visa process to Turkey cost me $22.50 US dollar. Can you believe that? Only $22.50 it cost me to get a visa to go to Turkey from Abu Dhabi. The process was very smooth. I got my visa the same time I made the application. Within minutes it was in my email and like I said I booked via um, Etihad Airways and you can see me walking down the aisle again going to find my seat so I'm um, currently in my seat and all buckled up as you can see I'm wearing a hooded jacket a sweatpants because um, I did check up on the weather and I know that it's very cold it was very cold in Turkey at the time so I was all bundled up, had my scarf prepared for when I landed. Yes, and the flight was pretty good. Um, I had a little turbulence here and there. <laughs> what at one point I felt like was I driving on the roads um in Jamaica, but it was based on the weather. So here is my landing in Turkey, and I can actually say checked bucket list checked <laughs> smooth landing in turkey but guess what there's something i learned in turkey they instead of saying turkey they say turkey and a tour guide mentioned this because uh, she was like oh we turkish people we say that turkey is an animal and we don't want to be named after an animal so um some years ago they actually officially um change the name to turkey i always argued with my kids about this when i say turkey they say miss it's turkey but i was surprised that um when while there and i went on a tour um the tour guide actually mentioned the reason why they say turkey instead of turkey so that's t-u-r-k-i-y-e look at that it's so beautiful amazing said it was a five hour flight and this was the first meal yeah like a real three course meal yes and it was actually very good i think this was teriyaki chicken and rice and bread uh, apple juice um there was a vegetable salad it was pretty 
got a snack also this is me relaxing because i got the whole seat to myself i'm always lucky <laughs> yes yeah, so i got to just lay back and put my feet up yeah i was the only one in the seat isn't this lovely when you book and you realize that nobody's coming next to you you get the whole seat and the window seat is a must for me i don't like when i travel and i don't get the window seat it's just the views and the comfort yeah relaxing <laughs> yeah um the only thing for me uh, what was it i was gonna mention i don't know but anyways it was good <laughs> nonetheless it was a good flight so here it goes again just me relaxing missing for the flight to land here I'm now off the plane and walking towards um, immigration it was a pretty much long walk yeah I was pretty tired at this point welcome to Istanbul yeah it was a pretty long walk <laughs> to um, the immigration area and getting my bag and of course where am i at this point i feel yeah this is on the outside while i wait for the taxi pickup from the airport so the, the ride was arranged and then so pick up from the airport straight to the hotel and this was pre-arranged yeah and it was pretty cold too cold for my liking <laughs> now this is me all zipped up because it's too cold look at how the wind is blowing my scarf away yes uh, i had to get my neck covered oh my god it's cold yeah i didn't want to get sick in a foreign country so all bundled up It was so cold i had to put my hands in the in the um in the sweater because i really actually felt like i needed gloves no joke it was pretty cold and this was um march 25th so that was the, the first day of my arrival in turkey and it was still cold but then again it's the best um time to visit as it's not crowded like in the summer months and not hot and humid and all of that so it was a perfect time in spite of it being so cold so now the um, ride the taxi was here and this is me walking towards the taxi yeah picked up nice comfortable ride what happened to your wings um, to the hotel so you in can front, all cracked. not much view <laughs> on the outside because i think the windows were tinted so i didn't get uh, much view along the way to show you but yeah
So here am I in the hotel's lobby and we arrived pretty much there about 8 o'clock at the hotel and our check-in time was 2 p.m. so we were too okay, early thank you. so we were able to drop our bags off check in and drop our bags off we weren't allowed to go to the room as I said we checked in too early but nonetheless we were offered some coffee sat there and rested a bit and uh, yeah just pretty much um, rested a bit um, it was like a boutique hotel so the lobby area was um, very small um, but yeah this was um, Union Hotel Karakoi and that was my so the water on that side then maybe so we be heading like on that I said side. before um, I dropped my bags off and rested a bit in the lobby and then this took on the street so it's the more because actually I wasn't gonna waste the day so not gonna just sit there so went on the road and tried to book um, some tours so I walked around a bit and then yeah um, got um, a bus card be and all of that you. because yeah. you definitely need a bus card uh, for the metro for the tram except for the taxis you definitely need a bus card to travel maybe, everywhere else huh? so i uh, went on the road there's, got a, that there's an done, open there and i had to pay 100 lira for the bus card and then i first topped it up topped it up with 30 um liras huh? this is the galata bridge way to the galata bridge a monument in turkey of course and well the first day was a day well spent and mark you i spent nine days in turkey no, and i didn't already. get a sim oh. card as some <laughs> thought you had to no i didn't waste any money on getting sim card having wi-fi when i'm at the hotel or in other some public places that was fine this is tramway. for me so like I said, despite it being a, this is like at this point I think I was under a bridge, trying to get onto the main road to cross the road. Yeah, so this is the infamous bridge in Istanbul, where you will see lots of the natives of Turkey doing their hustling, which is um, fishing. So they're right um, on the bridge of, of the pier there doing their fishing and then they sell their fish uh, to the local restaurants where you can get fish sandwich pretty much all over the road in Istanbul. Yes, so this is overlooking the, the port and some beautiful boats there and uh, fishing and getting their livelihood can you see how cold am i can you see it on my face it's so windy it was really cold really cold and it was a struggle for me to find um warm clothes to go there because if you know me you know i'm a girl who's always wearing a dress so i had to buy some um sweatpants and so on um just to keep warm but nonetheless, like I said, I was there to have a time, and I did have a time. Yeah, so this is me walking. I don't remember. Guys, almost everything there, like everything, every sign is written in Turkish. That's what I didn't like. So I visited so many places, and I can't remember what they're called because they weren't written in English. And if you're walking alone, you don't have a tour guide to say this is XYZ and so on. So yeah now here goes my first adventure for the day i actually did the bosphorus um boat cruise and stopped well not stopped <laughs> viewed um a few landmarks along the way 
um, it rained the first day it rained so much on the boat um, I had to take cover so we were like on the top and pretty much everybody was on the boat and the of the area of the boat I found a little shelter at one spot where I could actually stay outside but it was so what I mean cold I mean it was super cold and rainy that day but luckily, again, I was dressed for the weather. I did a photo shoot on the boat and this was the highlight of the day for me i got seven nicely packaged photos and i paid 30 euros guys have your euros ready uh, when you get to turkey these people you would think they would ask for turkish lira they're asking for euros but nonetheless i bought um the currencies before i left i bought some euros and i bought some um liras this is um i think ishmael um who checked me into my room <laughs> brought my bags to my oh, room so he was just giving okay. me a greeting and saying hi for my vlog <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah so again i see <laughs> oh it wasn't <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right. So, let me give you a quick um, room tour. So, I stayed at this hotel for two days, the first two days when I arrived. And then in part two, I'll be showing you my trip from Istanbul, Turkey to Cappadocia, Turkey. So that is coming up in part two. The room was nice and airy and it had big windows. I was on the seventh floor, I think, or the ninth floor. I think ninth floor. Uh, 
and this was their deluxe room so a double bed uh, mirror tv coffee pot there was a, um, a mini fridge um Hanging, Let's hanging plate. Guys, my first, can you believe my first KFC, meal was KFC? KFC and Turkey. oh, I don't even want to mention the taste of it. It was ew, ew. Ordered yeah, KFC so and I actually KFC got three pieces Turkey. of leg. Unbelievable. Three pieces let's of leg with like. a few fries. It was cold as ice. You're so cold. I wasn't no, even able to order it myself. I had to have the receptionist guy order it for me because Guys, all the sites to order from is served with is written in um legs. everything is written in Turkish. I've so never seen that. <laughs> I, I wasn't is able to read anything. Uh, leg KFC I wanted something to eat so Turkey? much, and this is all I could have gotten. But stay I've tuned for part this. two. Thank you for watching.